Theodore, that's Chai, and today I'm going to start a new painting of Whitney Houston. Now please let me emphasize this is not a tutorial. If you are expecting a tutorial, you will be really dissatisfied because I just don't really know what I'm doing. This is just me painting and having fun, so thank you for watching. Now before I get into the painting, I like to start with a rough sketch. You might be thinking, this looks really bad, and quite frankly, I'd have to agree with you. I just like to have a general idea of where to put paint. Okay, so after I do the sketch, I go ahead and put in the base values of the face, I layer dark to light, and this step was actually a little difficult for me because the reference photo was taken in professional lighting, and so you can't really see the shadow since the lighting is so bright, and as a result, it was hard for me to differentiate between light and dark. And I watched a YouTube video after I started this painting that explained that it's best to pick a reference photo that has obvious contrast between light and dark with visible shadows, and I was like, ah, oh, I didn't do that, and this is why I'm having difficulties. But I then said, that's okay, let's just continue with the process, I'll figure it out. And as I'm doing this, I'm not paying too close attention to the colors on the face, I'm just looking at values, and I want to put dark where dark is, light where light is, and whatever is in between, in between. And as you can see, the colors I'm using are really red, but in the reference photo, the colors on her face are really yellow, so at a later time, I'll go back in, I'll fix it, I'll make it look nicer, but for now, I'm just putting dark where dark is, light where light is, and what is in between, in between. Okay, sorry, so my battery died, but I just briefly and very, like, carelessly filled in a bunch of the values, and I'm gonna, like, make it better. So, yeah. Okay, so I realized with acrylic paints, the key is to do as many layers as you can. So I do the base layer, and I am going to mix more colors to do a second layer, and I'm going to make sure that I mix colors that more closely match the reference photo, so each mix is going to be more yellow than the base layer. And again, with the base layer, doesn't really matter, I'm going to put paint on top of that. Yeah, I consider the first layer I paint as a template. I put lighter colors where I see light, and darker colors where I see dark. But of course, one size does not fit all, so some lighter areas may have more yellow, red, blue, or black than their next door neighbors. Same for darker areas. And also, when I'm blending wet paint into wet paint as I'm doing now, I like to use a clean and slightly damp brush with soft edges to get a nice soft blend. Okay, so that's enough paint talk. You may be wondering, if this isn't a painting tutorial, then why are you filming it, Micah? Well, thanks for asking. You see, my life quite literally exists within the confines of my apartment with Theodore and Chai, and so the thought of a stranger far away watching this video is quite appealing to me. Not to mention, one-sided conversations are my favorite, and this is a huge one-way conversation. You may also be wondering, why didn't you start painting in the first place? Well, I started painting back in August because I really needed something I could dedicate myself to. I had recently graduated from college, moved to a new state, and started a job that was fully remote. And eventually, my excitement for all this change turned into a looming fear that my life would exist only within the walls of my apartment, forever at a standstill. So it took me a good four to five weeks of quarter-life crises to decide to take up painting, and it has honestly brought me so much joy and a new sense of purpose outside of work. Now, I mean, I still always am in my apartment, but metaphorically speaking, I don't feel like my future is limited to this little space anymore. Okay, so on to the eyes. I outline them in a color slightly less black than black, so maybe a really dark brown. And then I'm going to fill them in with an off-white since apparently our pupils aren't really white. Okay, so apparently I'm moving on to the cheeks again. I add highlights where light hits the face and a reddish brown where it doesn't on the jawline. Don't worry, I'll go back to the eyes in a few seconds. But this is why I said it's not a tutorial, it's all over the place. Future videos will be better. I might add that when I do the highlights, I start with the darkest highlight and then I layer on top dark to light. So even though I am uh, putting a light color on, it's the darkest light color. And then as I do more layers, I add the lightest light color. I hope that makes sense. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted by my cat. I'm not sure if my microphone is picking this up, but she's meowing a lot. Okay, so how about we just jump straight back to the eyes. So I am outlining the pupils with a color that is a little lighter than black. I think if you said a really dark brown. And then I am filling them in with that color. However, I do notice that the color is too black, even though it's not black. So later on, I'll go over the pupils and put a visibly dark brown color on top of them instead. And now we move on to the lips. I mixed up a pink and I am placing it where lips should be. Later on, I will refine them into more voluptuous lips. But for now, I mostly just want paint on the canvas. I know what you're thinking. I've 
have never seen such a sexier image in my life. Well, thank you. I was going to go to sleep, but the incompleteness of this painting prevented me from doing so. So here we are instead. But I decided to tackle the teeth. I once remember my friends complaining about this person who used to edit their teeth to make them look unnaturally white in photos, so my only real goal here is to not make them look too white. However, I did end up making a grave mistake by painting them a little too yellow, so later in the video, I'm going to give them a nice whitening. Hello, and welcome back. So, I said some things, but it's largely unimportant. Basically, I'm just tired because my cat me out all night, but I am ready to finish this painting, so let's get into it. We move on to my favorite part, the neck and arms. I follow the same method I apply to the face, a base layer of dark and light values, and then I add more layers upon this template until I am semi-satisfied with the result, blending with a clean brush as I work. Oh, you've asked me another question. What made you want to paint Whitney Houston? Well, I've loved Whitney Houston since I was a kid. She is an amazing artist and an amazing performer. My favorite song by her is probably either Saving All My Love For You or I Have Nothing. A few months ago, I actually asked myself the question, what are the dreams you always had as a kid that you've forgotten about as an adult? As a kid, I had many dreams. Like most kids, I'd assumed, many of them were rather impractical. I wanted to be the most famous singer there ever was. I wanted to live in a hippie commune. I wanted to be a YouTuber. I wanted to marry Stephen Young. I also wanted to marry Andrew Garfield and Drake. And I wanted to be Rihanna. Simply put, I wanted it all. Now, I'm not planning on selling all of my possessions in favor of living as a hippie to experience a life of free love and total peace, but I am revisiting some of these dreams, hence this YouTube video. Remembering and pursuing the aspirations I once desired in my adolescence has made me feel alive because it turns out that just because I forgot about these dreams and got a decade older, the passions never really went away. I mean, I don't really want to join a commune anymore, so some of them did go away, but overall, you get the idea. But yeah, this is a tangent. I decided to paint Whitney Houston because Whitney Houston reminds me of my adolescence and I'm trying to remember who I was back then. Hello, welcome back. So I spent the past half hour or two hours, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep track of time, but I spent that time working on the neck, shading it in, and initially I made it way too red because the face is really saturated with yellow. Blah blah blah. Basically, I just realized that the colors of the neck might not match the face, so I will go back later at a different time to do touch-ups once I have more stuff done. Okay, so let's move on to where we're largely done with the neck and arms because this video is getting pretty long. So I did the background, I made it a nice pink color, and now I'm going to do the hair. Hello, welcome back. Good morning. So yesterday as I was painting the hair, my memory card got full, so I thought, no problem, let me transfer the files to my computer. But as I did that, I ran into two issues. One, I had hours and hours of footage, way too much footage. I don't need all of that footage. So I thought, okay, do I need to record all the touch-ups? I'll just record a few of them. But then I tried transferring the files from you know, the camera to computer, and I was only to transfer about a third to half of them because I ran out of space and I couldn't delete the files I had transferred because my disk was full and it just wouldn't let me delete it. And so I thought, okay, let me just paint. I'll continue without recording. I'll do the touch-ups. What I did, I touched up the face and I made her eyes look less creepy. Um, yeah, except, I mean, they still kind of, I don't know. But also, I, I did most of the hair, but I thought, okay, let me just do most of the hair leap a bit for the morning, and that's what I'll do. Okay, so finally, we are almost done. My cat simply won't stop me yelling for my attention, so thank goodness. I started by painting C-shaped curls where hair should be of darker browns, and then I gradually mixed lighter and lighter browns. I decided to diverge from the reference by adding some pink to the hair to make the background pop a little more, and if I'm being honest, the hair is not my favorite, but that's okay. Maybe next time. Hello, welcome back. So this is the final product. I decided to add some pink highlights to the hair and some highlights to the face. And yeah, so I don't think it looks like Whitney Houston very much. So if it's supposed to look like her, I'd say it's not a good portrait, but overall, like, I like it. It just doesn't look like her. 
And yeah, if you have watched till the end, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And if you're thinking, I don't know if I want to watch any more videos by Micah, well, I have some ideas. You know, I am just talking far too slowly, and so my ideas just aren't important. Also, my sarcasm is not really coming through, and now I realize why people back in high school thought I was pretty weird. But hey, just stay tuned if you want to see another video. You can leave me some suggestions in the comments. Also, you can leave me some suggestions in the comments about painting. And yes, again, thank you for watching, and you should hit that subscribe button if you liked the video.